Abdominal pain is one of the most common reasons why we see kids in clinic. If you're one of those parents whose kids have frequent abdominal pains, you want to stay tuned where I give you three of the most common reasons why kids have abdominal pain. Hello and welcome to Generational Wellbeing with Dr. Lum. Thank you for joining me here today where I provide you with simple practical tips on how to create sustainable healthy habits for you and your family. Please like, share and subscribe. So today I will be talking about three of the com most common reasons why kids have abdominal pain. So the first one I'll talk about is constipation. Yes, a lot of kids are constipated and for so many different reasons. So constipation is usually when you have hard stools, you're pushing and it's, pain to, it's painful for the stools to pass through. Now, a lot of kids, once they get through that toddler phase, they learn how to hold for one of two reasons. Either they've had one painful stool that they've passed before and for fear of the pain, they start holding. So it ends up with a cycle where every time I have that urge to go, I keep holding and then it gets the constipation worse or you have a kid who is too busy i don't want to stop and do anything oh i figured out i can hold it and then the hold and then the end up with constipation or it could be due to a change in, in routine maybe we went on vacation everything goes out of place and then they end up with constipation or it could be the food that they're eating that lacks the fiber our body needs for that stool to pass through so what are the three things you can do to help with constipation if that is the reason for the abdominal pain one i would say set routine uh time where the child will sit on the toilet again because they've learned how to hold they're not going to want to stop when they have that urge but if you have that set time maybe after dinner time if it's a more relaxing time for the family where they'll sit on the toilet so still at least you're aware that they're actually going each day and in addition to that you want to put a stool underneath their, their feet so it pushes their their legs up that usually helps with easing uh, the passage of stool out the second thing you can do is make sure we're adding um fiber to the diet right so a most of the foods that our kids like to eat especially the toddlers are super dry foods that like fiber most of the french fries the chicken nuggets and all the things that they're eating super dry and absolutely no fiber so we have to be intentional about adding those fiber rich foods like uh whole grains Beans are amazing sauce. They have both syllable and insoluble fiber in them. And the leafy greens, veg vegetables, uh, spinach, broccoli, carrots, and stuff. So we we'll have to be intentional about adding those. And the fruits, you want to do the peas. Peaches, plums, prunes, those are all good for constipation and have high fiber, um, preferably with the skin because that has the added fiber on there too. And the last thing you can do is add um, probiotics. Now, plain yogurts, cultured yogurts have probiotics and all the fermented foods have probiotics or you can get the probiotic supplements. Now, the second reason why I see kids with abdominal pain is stress or anxiety. There have been so many changes uh, today. Besides the pandemic, you have most people are moving around when you move to a new school we have a lot of kids who are anxious about it um, loss of a family member a lot of kids are anxious about it there's just so many reasons why kids are stressed and anxious uh, today so what can we do about that help them to help teach them learning or healthy coping uh, uh, mechanisms so coping techniques not everybody is resilient enough where they can just face any kind of challenging situations but everybody can learn how to face the challenging situations so we can help them whether it's uh, mindfulness techniques or deep breathing techniques where you have to help them teach them how to really manage the breathing outdoors that activities are really good that's kind of you know go outside and play stretch activities are super helpful and yoga has been proven to be helpful for teenagers as well um, now the third reason may be food intolerance now a lot of kids especially with the infants and stuff as we start feeding them over the toddler sometimes when they don't want to eat something we have to instead of force feeding them pay attention to why they're they're not and see what other symptoms they're showing now um in order to figure out 
how to handle this, you would have to, rather than force feeding them, just pay attention and have a food diary. If it's a kid who can tell you, I have abdominal pain and stuff, you want to be able to write down or pay or take note of the kinds of foods or what was in what they ate the, uh, the meal prior to that abdominal pain symptom. And if you have a food diary consistently for about two weeks, you will be able to kind of pinpoint what kind of food groups they may not be tolerating and try to limit it in their diet it and just kind of readjust things that way so abdominal pain you have constipation stress and food intolerance now there's so many other reasons for abdominal pain in kids that will cause really severe symptoms now if your kid has severe symptoms consistently you want to make sure you're talking to your child's doctor uh, about it because there are obviously some really crucial urgent uh, abdominal pain concerns with kids so I'd like for you to make sure you talk to your child's doctor and uh, that way we know that it's one of these three common reasons so don't forget to subscribe let me know if you have any other questions in the comment box or if there are certain topics you'd like for me to talk about. Until next time, I'm Dr. Lo.